hello everyone you are welcome how to solve and find the value of this interesting simplification math problem which is 2 raised to power 19 minus 2 raised to power 18 minus 1 is equal to question mark so here we will try to find the value of this simplification math problem now what we will do here here we will do some changes in the first one term so we can write 2 raised to power 19 is 2 raised to power 19 can be written as 18 plus 1 minus 2 raised to power 18 minus 1. Now here in this one term we will use an exponential math property. So here we will use this one exponential math property in the first term. A raised to power m plus n can also be written as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. So using this exponential property here in the first one term this equation will become is equal to this will become 2 raised to power 18 times 2 raised to power 1 minus the remaining two terms will be the same 2 raised to power 18 minus 1 now from here we will take 2 raised to power 18 common from the first two terms so this will become let us take 2 raised to power 18 common. So here only 2 raised to power 1 is left, which is simply 2 minus, and here only 1 is left minus this one. Now here 2 minus 1 is 1. So this will become 2 raised to power 18 times 1 is 2 raised to power 18 minus 1. Now next we can write this 2 raised to power 18 as. 2 raised to power 18 as same as 9 times 2 minus 1. Now here in this one term we will use another exponential math property. So here we will use this one exponential math property. A raised to power m whole raised to power n can also be written as a raised to power m times n. So using this exponential property here in this one term this will become 2 raised to power 9 whole raised to power 2 minus we can write this one as 1 square because 1 square is simply 1. Now here we will try to find the value of 2 raised to power 9. So therefore the value of 2 raised to power 9 is 2 raised to power 9 means we need to multiply to 9 times. So let's multiply to 9 times. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, 128 times 2 is 256, and 256 times 2 is 512. So here the value of 2 raised to power 9 is 512. So this will become, here we will replace 2 raised to power 9 with this value so this equation will become 5 raised 520 or raised to power 2 minus 1 square now here in this one term we will use an algebraic identity a square minus b square identity so here we will use this one identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b so here in the above problem this is a 520 and this is b which is 1 so using this identity this equation will become a minus b so a is 512 minus 1 plus times a plus b now a is 512 plus 1 now here the subtraction of this number gives him 511 times uh, this addition gives him 513. Now next we can write these two numbers as we can write 511 as 500 plus 11 times we can write 513 as 500 plus 13. Now here in this product we will use an identity. So here we will use this one identity, this one result. When x plus a times x plus b k 
can also be written as x square plus x times a plus b plus a times b so here you will use this one result now here in this in this product this is x this is also x this is a and this is b now using this one result this one formula this equation will become it will become x square now x is 500 this will become 500 square plus x times now x is 500 a plus b now a is 11 plus b is 13 plus a times b now a is 11 times b is 13 now let's simplify these numbers so this will become here 500 square is 5 square is 25 and there are two zeros so this will become double so this will become 250,000 plus no 500 times this will give him 24 plus we will multiply these two numbers with each other so 13 times 1 is 13 so 3 1 will be carried 13 times 1 is 13 13 plus 1 is 14 and next we will multiply these two numbers so this will become 250,000 plus no, 24 times 0 is 0 24 times 0 is 0 24 times 5 is 5 times 4 is 20 so 0 2 will be carried 5 times 2 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 so the product of these two numbers gives him 12,000 plus 143 now finally we will add these three numbers so to add these three numbers we will start from the ones position first we will add the digit at ones position then the digits at tens position then the digits at hundred position and so on so let's add the digit at ones position so 3 plus 0 plus 0 is 3 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 comma no 2 plus 0 is 2 1 plus 5 is 6 and 2 so finally the sum of all of these three numbers gives him 262,143 so it means that the value of 2 raised to power 19 minus 2 raised to power 18 minus 1 is 262,000 143 so this is our target and this is our solution now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching